and welcome. This is Melissa Arma with the Stock Squash, and I'm here reviewing the market. So called a late trade here in the market, really extremely late. And I gave a, a tight stop, and then I gave also a non-tight stop. Um, so long and short of it is that, um, you know, the, the market itself has been showing some strength in the last few days, which is very positive. And depending on how you looked at this, I was talking to a student this morning, um, you know, we, we didn't close strong uh, yesterday, but I really didn't have a problem with that. Um, he did, I, you know, I didn't have a problem with it. But anyways, long story short, the market did gap up today. Apple's out tonight. And I think the market is showing that it, it, it's, it's gonna hold in here. Now, what could change my you know, opinion of that? Um, if Apple does not end up reporting well tonight, so what I'm saying is that if Apple doesn't report well, then um, the market could, could gap down tomorrow morning. Uh, so there's two things that is happening in the next 24 hours. One, Apple reports, which is huge, tonight after the bell. And two, um, the unemployment number is coming out tomorrow morning. So you have two critical things that are happening in the market <laughs> literally um, between now and, you know, it's less than, less than 24 hours actually. Uh, so the market could totally turn around and we, all this selling that occurred in October could be gone. I thought that might happen last week actually, and then it didn't, but then it market's going to have a chance to do it this week and right into the election period, which is next week. So anyways, if you wanted to go long the market here this afternoon, you could have done it. You could have done it in a 15 minute setup in here. You could have done it a little bit earlier where I saw this actually it was like around 11, 15, 11 30. Let me just, I'm going to make this really squished. So you could have gone long the market in here. Uh, you could have gone long the market right in here. And I gave a tight stop and I also gave a non-tight stop. Now, let's just say you did the non-tight stop, which would be the conservative thing. You could have pulled the stop up. Once it's set up here in the higher time frame into 12 o'clock, boom. And now we're going to run up straight into the close. In fact, I think we will rally pretty much up until 2 o'clock here at least and possibly into the close today. Uh, which I thought we would yesterday, and then we, we did, but then we fell, we fell like the last hour. I don't think that's going to happen today in anticipation of the Apple earnings coming out. So if you're long this market here, look to run it up to 172, 172.50, 173 into the close. It's only 115. That's a long time away. So hold the trade if you're in it. I call the market long as a late trade, and it looks absolutely fine. So uh, hopefully people did do this. Some people made out in the short side this morning. Uh, we'll take a look at everything later and see where everything is tonight. I, I, it's just be very interesting to see. Again, you never know how these things are going to report. That's why you don't take positions in stocks until they report. Uh, but I have a feeling that Apple's probably going to do what what app, what Amazon and Google could have done last week. Apple will end up doing tonight, but we'll wait and see. Good luck, everyone, and have a good day.